In my opinion, hip hop is something from nothing. And that something is an explosion of creativity, individuality and form that is hip hop culture, you know what I mean? In the old school, I guess there, were, there was a real humble beginning of the culture. I guess nobody knew how massive it was gonna be. We used to scream, represent, represent. Now we're getting in bed and getting bent by the 1%. There's a real big difference with new school hip hop now. And a lot of the original values have been compromised by corporate intentions, you know what I mean? I've got the knowledge, but these kids ain't listening. I created my own foundation. What? YouTube, MTV, there ain't no foundation. That's illegitimate. In relation to Broken Lineage, we're definitely exploring some of the more commercial aspects of the culture and the bitterness that an old school guy has towards that. What is it with your gangster swag? You ain't a gangster, you're a dancer. Ultimately, old and new school is one thing, you know what I mean? But within the culture, people want to dissect things up a lot. So we're exploring that within Broken Lineage. Hip hop has survived for 40 years, but I'm not sure where it's going now, you understand? Hip hop is blatantly part of the establishment now, and I'm glad it is because of the role that hip hop plays in society. I received a letter about two and a half years ago and it was an offer to accept an MBE. That's a real indicator of the fact that hip hop culture is becoming not just part of the mainstream, but part of the establishment. And I think that's really cool. In the letter, I explore the different voices of sometimes dissent, sometimes pro, MBE. What's all this about a prize? An MBE? You can't harm your ability to raise funds now, can it? They're honouring your aptitude. Show some gratitude. Can hip hop maintain its integrity once it's gone commercial, once it's gone mainstream? I think that can be really difficult sometimes because a lot of what hip hop's about is about self worth and community values and to a certain extent revolution and change actually and a lot of the corporate interests aren't really down with that but right now the underground is as big as it's ever been around the world there's a lot of people practicing this form and doing it at the highest technical level the underground will always be there